Hi, this is Madison with Portrait Displays. Today, we're going to show you how to conduct an SDR BT709 calibration on a 2019 LG C9 OLED TV with built in pattern generator using Calman Home for LG color calibration software. Our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will take you through a step by step calibration. You may be asking yourself, what is a pattern generator? Well, there are three things you need to calibrate a TV. Calibration software, like Calman Home for LG, a meter to read the color patterns on the screen, like a C6 HDR2000, and a pattern generator to put the color patterns on the screen. The patterns that are generated are just rectangles sent to the screen that have a specific color value. During the calibration process, Calman tells the pattern generator to send a specific color to the screen. The meter reads the color and reports back to Calman. Calman knows the value of the color that was sent and compares it with the value read by the meter. Then Calman makes adjustments to the TV so the two values match. So the 2019 LG TV provides one of the three things needed for calibration. The pattern generator is built in. So all you need is the software and the meter. Before we get going, you need to set up the TV to use the built-in pattern generator. The TV needs to have a solid gray background during the entire calibration process. A one hour video of nothing but solid gray has been created for you to use. Plenty of time to do a calibration. To download that video, use your computer, go to portrait.com, and under the support heading, click on the resource center. Look for the how-to article on the LG 2019 internal pattern generator. In that article is a link to an SDR video. Right click on the SDR link to download the video file onto your desktop. Copy the video file onto a USB drive, also known as a flash drive or USB stick. Plug the USB drive into the TV. You will use the TV's media player app to play the file during calibration. Now, our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will walk you through the tutorial. Tyler will be using Portrait Display's Calman Home for LG color calibration software. He will also be using Portrait C6 HDR 2000 colorimeter to read the colors on the screen. Take it away, Tyler. Hey, this is Tyler, technical evangelist for Portrait Displays. So I'm going to open up our LG AutoCal workflow. We're going to be calibrating SDR BT709 regular calibration on a 2019 LG C9 OLED television. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to select find meter. We're using our C6 HDR2000 colorimeter. We're going to make sure we select our OLED meter mode, OLED white. Now we're going to be using the LG's built-in test patterns. The 2019 LG TVs have a built-in test pattern generator. One thing to be aware of is the TV has to be receiving a signal on an HDMI or playing back some type of regular SDR 709 HD content during the process of using the built-in generator. So for this SDR calibration, I am playing back the SDR version on the built-in media player. Then when we connect to the pattern generator, it is rendered over the top of the video. So now that I have it playing on the LG media player app, from a USB stick. I'm going to go back to Calman, go to find source. I'm going to select LG and I'm going to enter the IP address of the TV, which I've already entered here. 
Now you can either connect via Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or if you don't have access to a network, you can plug an Ethernet cable directly from your PC to the TV and both the computer and the TV will assign themselves a 169.254 IP address. So I've went into the TV and I've got the IP address out of the TV in its networking settings um, section. And so now I'm gonna hit connect and the TV will put up an eight digit pin code on the screen and then you will enter it here. And this pin code is generated um, dynamically for each session as a security feature. So it will be a different code each time. Okay, now the TV has put a set of grayscale steps up on the TV, which indicates that we've connected to its internal pattern generator. Now one thing to be aware of, now if we click on the LG uh, pattern generator up here, is we want to make sure that we have SDR 709 selected. When you're doing HDR and Dolby Vision, you need HDR 2020 selected. We're gonna be using 10% window test patterns. And if you want to look at any of the specialty patterns, you can select them here. We can put up a black ramp or a um, color bars. So you can use those. There's also a very fine grayscale gradient. That's a 10 bit ramp to look for banding and stuff like that after your calibration. So now that that is configured, we're going to, I'm going to change this since this is an OLED and we're gonna be doing our night mode, I'm gonna change this to power and enter 2.4 gamma. If you're gonna do a day mode, you would use 2.2 gamma. So now I'm gonna to go to next. Now we're gonna do our pre-calibration measurement. Okay, now our pre-calibration measurements are done. Now we're going to connect to the TV. So we're gonna go find LG TV. We're gonna select 2019 Alpha 9 Gen 2 OLED. And since we've already connected as a pattern generator, we don't need to enter an IP address here. We can just hit connect. Okay, now we're connected and we're gonna pick which picture mode. So for this particular calibration, I'm gonna do the expert dark room mode. For SDR 709 regular HD calibration, we have five options. You can do the cinema, expert dark room, expert bright room, game mode, or technicolor mode. We wanna make sure this says 709. Now we're gonna hit the full DDC reset button, which will upload Unity 1D and 3D lookup tables to prepare the TV for calibration. Okay, the reset is complete. Now we're going to go to the next step. We just want to make sure that this is checked. So everything is okay there. Now we're gonna set our peak brightness. For reference viewing mode, we want 100 candelas per meter squared or nits. Nits is just easier to say, so most people say nits. Um, if you're doing a bright room mode, I would just leave it at 80 or you can even turn it up to 100. Um, but for reference viewing mode, you want it to be 100 nits. So we would click this button. And we're going to lower this. I know I need to be somewhere around 25. I usually leave it about 10% higher than my target, 10 to 15. 
So I'm going to leave it there because we're going to reduce the luminance slightly when we do the grayscale calibration because when it's in panel native mode, it is really blue. So we're going to have to take blue out and that will reduce the luminance. So I'm going to go to the next step. Now we're going to do the grayscale autocal. Now one thing I found that to get slightly better results, especially near black, is you can go into Calman settings here and change the delta E formula from DE2000 J and DAB to delta E ITP. It will take a little bit longer to complete the grayscale, but I think it's worth it. I think it gets better results. So now I'm going to hit the AutoCal button and, and leave it set to LG 26 points SDR 16 to 255. Now, if you're doing a previous generation TV like a 2018 and you're using a pattern generator that does not support super white, so it doesn't support anything higher than 235, then you can pick this set of points, 26 points SDR 16 to 235. So I'm gonna hit OK, and this is gonna run, and we're gonna speed it up so you don't have to sit around and watch the UI. Okay, our grayscale is done. It took a little over 12 minutes. We're going on, on to the next step, which is the 3D lookup table. Okay, now to create our 3D lookup table, we're going to hit our AutoCal button here. Now we can measure thousands of points. Um, I found the Lightning LUT gives excellent results, and it only takes about five minutes. Um, if you want to do longer, you can. I'm going to be uploading to this um, to the Calman Resource Center a 10-hour version of the SDR um, video file. So that way, if you want to do thousands of points in your 3D LUT, if you want to measure thousands of points, up to 10,000 points, um, the video that's playing doesn't end before you're done taking your measurements. So look for that soon. So I'm gonna hit OK here, the lightning LUT. So if you wanted to do the, the time or point-based one, if you did point-based, you could do say, hey, I'm gonna do 3,500 points and it will estimate, hey, it's gonna take, you know, four hours or something. Um, or you can do time-based and say, hey, I only have 144 minutes, then it'll take as many reads as possible in that amount of time. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to do the lightning LUT, which reads 101 uh, patches. Okay, the lightning LUT is now complete. Now we're gonna check our luminance. So I'm gonna click here, 100% white, do a single reading. We're getting 94 nits, so I'm gonna go up one click, remeasure. Okay, perfect. Next step. Uncheck Enable Calibration. Now we do our post calibration verification. Hit Read Series.
Okay, now our post calibration verification measurements are done. One thing I wanted to uh, mention is this panel is, or this TV is a pre-production model, and we're actually seeing larger than normal yellow or orange errors on this particular panel than we're seeing on the actual production units. Okay. Now we can see our pre-calibration and post-calibration side by side, including our max and average delta E's. We can save data or go back and do a new calibration for say a day mode. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.